Yo, Ski, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, who? C-Y-G-G. -G. Man, I'm back with another video, and in this video, bro, I'm about to be talking about the mother that exposed her child on Instagram Live, just went in on her child, but all of a sudden, now, she don't like the backlash that she done received from it. Now, personally, when I first seen this video, it was on Soul Illuminati's channel, but um, I didn't actually finish watching the whole thing. Now, it actually led to me going to the link that was in the description and actually finding the full video. I will also put the full video in the um, description. We'll put the link to the video in the description below of this video as well. But first off, man, apparently her daughter did something. She was talking to one of the little kids or something, and the mom went crazy. But first off, let me show y'all what the mom said the daughter did. But you on here, right? Cursing up a motherfucking storm, like that's something I fucking teach your ass. Like this shit's some type of fucking cute game, right? Talking about some boot up and your fucking messages back and forth to all these little kids as if that's something I fucking teach you. All right, now I understand that when you give your child social media, you don't want your child out there doing the most and portraying themselves in a bad way as, you know, you want you want your child to show that you raised them right. But in this particular case, her mother said, cursing up a motherfucking storm like that's something I fucking teach your ass. Oh, yeah. You know what? You are absolutely right, because the person that can't be teaching her how to cuss up a storm, it couldn't be the person that's right now cussing up a damn storm. I don't get it. Bro, that is so crazy. I don't understand that. Now, once again, you are not leading by example right now. Like, you got to think about that. You talk about your child going on social media and acting out, but you, the mother, right now are going on social media acting out so i'm pretty sure your child got the cussing from you as well as going to the social media acting the way she acts from you like come on now now let, let's see what else happens in the video you don't you, you don't wash your motherfucking drawers shit be on there with shit and poop just literally wash them so i'm trying to understand Yo, are you serious right now? You literally just aired your child's dirty laundry on the internet. Like, like it's it's sad to say, but you got to think about this. Usually kids get bullied for stuff like, you know, kids say, oh, you're ugly. Oh, you're this. And, you know, parents get mad because they say, look here, I don't want nobody else talking about my child except me. But in this case, you have literally weaponized every other kid with information about their, about your daughter. And you are the one that started it by talking about your own damn daughter. The person who's supposed to be in defense of their child is has now become the attacker of their own child. Like, bro, I don't understand that. Like, this is so crazy. Probable cause as to why you're doing the shit you're doing. Because me and seven other people trying to figure it out. Wait a minute. You and seven other people in this particular case, it shouldn't be you and seven other people trying to figure this out. It should be you and one other person trying to figure this out, which is you and your daughter. How do you involve somebody else in a personal talk? This right now is supposed to be a teaching moment, not a moment where you hurt your daughter's image and wow you know what I'm, I'm wow know how to wash her motherfucking drawers and don't come back to me shitty or pissed then that's the day that she can go get a motherfucking phone herself because this one she stole off of a family fucking member okay all right, so let me just put it like this. You're saying all this about your daughter. Mind you, I'm a person that don't know who this woman is, don't know who her daughter is, but if I see her daughter for the first time, the first perception that I'm going to gain from what her mother just told me about your daughter is that your daughter is dirty and she's a thief. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, all right. So she ain't got nothing to tell y'all. So I get off of here then. And to the other two people that join, I guess y'all could be the uh, the judge of what the fuck uh, just happened. Bruh, like, as a parent, you literally just went to social media 
to validate the way you treated your own child. In this world, we usually hear people say, I don't care about how somebody, what somebody says to me about raising my child because they don't know my child like I do. And they, it, the way I raise my child is none of their business. And now you just made it the public's business. You just made it your school, your child's school business. Like that is the stupidest stuff I've ever heard. Like in this day, I, I even made a tweet about that today, man. Today, I made a tweet about this. A lot of people, they go to social media and they think that, you know, if they do something and it gets a lot of likes, then it's validated. Bro, just because you get a lot of likes on something doesn't validate the action. Like, people didn't know that back in the day, you know, people used to like slavery. That didn't make it right. <laughs> it's literally a group called the KKK, which is a bunch of white people that don't like black people for being black. And I'm pretty sure they all get together and they're like, yeah, brother, I, I feel the same way. I, and one thing I can't stand is a blacking. Like, it's people like that that literally get together and they agree with each other. Just because they agree on that doesn't make it right. And what you just did... You just went to your child's page, you got on Instagram Live, and you seen a bunch of laughing emojis and a bunch of people reacting to this, and you just thought due to how many views you were getting, and you thought like due to the reaction you was getting from the comment section, that you were actually doing the right thing, when in actuality, you were doing the right thing for other people, which was giving them ammunition to talk about somebody they probably already wanted to talk about. This right here is literally poor parenting, man. I don't have no kid, but I once was a kid and I was raised to be who I am now. And my mother did not, you know, try to embarrass me to the public and hurt my image. Now, mind you, if I ever tried to show out in front of somebody, I would get hurt. I remember one time I tried to show out in front of my friends and I told my mama, no, I'm not doing nothing. And my mama slapped me so damn hard in front of all my friends and I couldn't do nothing. But that's how I got embarrassed. In that case, I'm pretty sure that girl would have probably took a whooping or something rather than take some type of public embarrassment where she feels like everyone knows this stuff about her. When only her mother was supposed to know this about her. Like, bro, this is very stupid, in my opinion. I don't care what nobody says. Now, I also ended up finding out that the mother has a YouTube page. And, um, you know, of course she was going to have an Instagram. I mean, you see how the way she kept adjusting her looks in the video. Now, once I found out that she had an Instagram page and, you know, a YouTube page... As you can see, you know, she has turned off, like, I can't post a picture right now, but it was weird that she had turned off all her comments to her video, as well as started blocking people on her Instagram page and making it private. So, in other words, the embarrassment you seek to set out on your daughter, it ended up coming back on you. The way you look to make your daughter feel, you felt that same pain, which is stupid to me, man. You know what they say about karma, man. What goes around comes around like a racetrack. And it hits you slap in the face on that left turn, because that's exactly where it went. Left, because you thought you was doing the right thing. I don't understand, man. Like, you really tried to validate your treatment for your child by, you know, having an audience applaud it. An audience will applaud anything if it makes them laugh, whether it's evil or good or anything in this type of situation. And you just went with it. And the thing about this, what makes this situation even worse, we are in, a, you know, a moment where people were talking about R. Kelly and him have, you know, taking advantage of underage girls and stuff like this. The reason why some men are able to take advantage of certain underage girls is because of stuff like this. You as her mother, who is supposed to be her role model, is making her feel like crap. Another woman, the woman that she is supposed to be looking up to as a young woman, you're making her feel like she's not nothing because she made a couple mistakes on how she act on social media from clearly seeing how her mother act on social media. And what, what happens in these type of situations, these young girls go looking for love and they find it in a person that can manipulate them 
and you know mold their mind to think how they want them they think yo um well he he didn't expose me or hurt me like my mom did or they might end up confusing the way you are treating her now with actual love and she might be like yo he calls me a piece of crap he calls me a hoe and all this stuff i mean my mom did the same thing on instagram so and she said she loved me maybe this is what love is i'm telling y'all right now man this is not the way you are supposed to do that man i'm glad the mother is catching all types of backlash and i hopes that she can i hope that she learns from this i'm not going to hope the worst for her but i hope that she learns from this and i hope that she takes time out to actually sit with her child and apologize to her and tell her what as a mother the mistake she made and i hope that they can grow from this situation and learn how to handle everything better man go down in the comments below man let me know what you guys think about this man until next time it's your man who cygg and i'm out